welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about moving interstate and what people don't tell you about moving interstate. For those of you who don't know, I was originally from Adelaide and I moved up to Queensland December 31st. Yes, I left home on New Year's Eve and I drove across the country because I refused to start 2021 in Adelaide. There were like a lot of emotions that I went through when like leading up to leaving, leaving, like getting there and even at the six month mark. And it's just things that people don't talk about. Like no one ever told me about this. And I, I think purely it's because people forget because when I've spoken to friends about it that have moved into state, they're like, oh yeah, you know, that's completely normal. Like, yeah, yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah. He's yeah, normal. I'm like, why you not tell me? But of course, like you just don't think about it. Like you think about all the exciting things that are going to happen when you're moving into state, not the fact that you're going to feel like an emotional wreck. Now, again, these are my opinions, my experience. I think it's, I wanted to share it because it's something that I went through. And when I talked about it with friends that have also moved into state, they thought the same thing. So I was like, people need to know. Anyways, let's move on. So I was someone that always wanted to move to Queensland. So it wasn't like it was like, oh, I might move to Queensland, maybe, like, maybe I want to do it. I don't know. Like, I was like dead set wanted to move. So it was not like there was any doubt in my mind about my move. So I had also, I was dealing with a pandemic and the fact that borders kept closing. I didn't know whether I was going or not. That's a whole different story. If you want to watch that vlog, my first week in Queensland, I actually speak a bit about like the feelings and the stuff that I, I went through leading up. So... I had obviously, once I made the decision to move, I started packing everything. I got everything organized. I was fine. I was really, really excited. It wasn't until two days before I was leaving and all of a sudden I started getting all these overwhelming feelings. I was like, what are you doing? Is this the right decision? Like, should you be going? Like, it was just full on. And I was like, what is going on? Like, I've always, always wanted to move to Queensland. Why am I suddenly doubting everything? And it's like I knew I had enough self-awareness to realize that it wasn't what I wanted it was my ego talking so it was my ego uh, the whole purpose of our ego is to keep us safe so it'll tell you like no you can't do that what are you doing like you need to stay here because making a move it's the unknown it doesn't know and it, it can potentially come off come off unsafe whereas the known is safe right even though sometimes the known is not safe to our ego it is safe so yeah my everything in my body was firing off that i needed to stay and i was like what is going on i was so confused i felt i was going through crying to being happy to crying to being happy it was just constant up down up down and i think you know a lot of people could come to that point in their move and be like no like i'm not meant to go this is a sign from the universe like i'm the biggest person of like it's a sign this was not a sign this was my ego talking i need to cut it out right i ignored the ego and I ended up going, but I feel like a lot of people might get to that stage and be like, no, 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 like I'm not meant to go. There's a reason I'm not meant to go. If that happens, take a step back, think about it. Think about all the reasons why you want to go and think about the reasons why your brain is telling you not to go, why your ego is saying not to go and actually confirm if that's true, if that's even plausible for you not going. My ego was like, you're making a huge mistake. And I was like, no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> this is what I wanted for so many years. When I first got to Queensland, I was really lucky that I was able to organize moving in with someone straight away. Like before I had even gotten to Queensland, they'd said, yeah, like come, like just rock up on the doorstep. Wicked. That was all good. And then I remember it was like my first day that I had off there. So I think I got there, I worked two days and I had a day off. And I remember thinking like I was going to wake up in the morning, like, oh my God, amazing. I'm in Queensland. I've got so much energy because in Adelaide, I was very, very active. I did lots of things. I was bouncing off the walls. I was going on hikes. I was catching up with friends. I was going to brunch. Like I was always on the go and I had lots of energy. And when I woke up this morning that I had the full day available, I felt like the heaviest, heaviest baked potato in my life. I had no energy. I had no energy. I felt completely depleted and I got really angry at myself and I was laying there and I was just like this is what you wanted like you wanted to move to Queensland you wanted this you wanted this why aren't you bouncing off the walls my expectations for myself were way too high way too high and the fact that I like my body was just depleted and the thing is like I drove across the country by myself like not only that is exhausting in itself I'm also so you have to remember when you get to a new place, 
everything is new. The roads are new, the houses are new, you're, the people you're living with are new, you're living in a new house. Like, nothing is familiar. So when we go about our day normally, like where we usually live, our brains already calculate everything in. It's like pushes it out. We don't need to, we don't need to know about what's happening because it's just normal, right? And we only take in new information. When everything is new, it's exhausting. When you first move there, those first couple of weeks, it can be exhausting. You're just depleted. Everything's new. It just takes a lot to take everything in. And I think it's different. Like when you go on holiday, like, cause you think, oh, when I go on holidays, this doesn't happen. Like it's exciting. But that, even though that is reality, yes, when you're going on holidays, it's not your like full time reality where, and you know, like holidays are exciting. Um, and don't get me wrong. Moving is exciting as well. It's just like a different, it's different and it's just exhausting. So I just didn't feel like myself for a good one to two weeks. I remember I did speak about it in the, my first week in Queensland vlog. And I actually watched that back the other day and I was like, my gosh, I'm so glad I filmed it. And I do, if you are planning on moving interstate, I do highly recommend that you do some personal video blogs or journaling just, you know, even for yourself so you can reflect back on it because you will forget. You will forget how you felt in those times because if I didn't make such a conscious thought process about it, there's no way I would have remembered that. And that's hence why no one tells you when you're moving into state about these things. So the one thing that I did to help myself with this is I set myself some intentions that I was going to be kind to myself for that week. I mean, I should be kind to myself every week, but like more kind, you know, just let yourself relax. Don't You don't have to be climbing mountains and making friends and going out to brunch and like doing all these things that you have planned to do or that you did back in your old life. So it was just setting that intention that I'm going to be really kind to myself and let myself take that time. But yeah, it was hard because when I first moved, I just expected that I was like, you're going to be living the best life. So another thing that I have found, I don't, hard, hard, a little bit heartbreaking is that your friendships back home will change. I have a lot of great friends back home. Those relationship dynamics have changed. Some of them have stayed the same, but very, very few. Most of them have changed. People don't contact you as much. You're not catching up. You're not going to the same things. It changes. That was a really hard one for me to accept. I remember another friend that had moved into state had said like, that's just what happens. Your dynamics just change because you're not there anymore. So yeah, be prepared for that. <laughs> So I'm now at the six month mark of having moved from Adelaide to Queensland. I have also moved from Gold Coast to Sunshine Coast. <laughs> Just to spice things up, you know. So now at the six month mark, what happens is that you don't really feel like you belong at home. But you also don't really feel like you belong in the new state either. <laughs> You're just kind of like in this weird limbo. You're like, I definitely don't live here anymore. And I live here, but do I belong here? I'm not sure. That's just like a weird, like the honeymoon period is over. Like it's over, you've settled, the excitement has worn off. You're just like living your life. And it just, it just feels a bit, eh. Like, it's great. Don't get me wrong. I love living in Queensland. So those are my opinions and experiences in regards to what people didn't tell me when I was moving into state. So if you have any of your own, please feel free to drop them in the comments as I would love to know. And again, if you did like this video, please remember to like. Thank you.